welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to focus on your lip. So red lip, this is a look that you can bring from day to night. So if you're in the office or if you're in work, wherever you work and you're going out for Christmas drinks or going for your Christmas party after work, then just popping on a red lip can just make an absolute world of difference. So if you want to see how I created this look with my winged eyeliner for like the first time, pretty much just keep watching. Because today's look centers around a really strong lip, we want to kind of prep and prime our lips beforehand. I love this PS lip scrub from Penny's. So I would just, after I brush my teeth, pop a little bit of this. It's pretty much a sugar scrub. I mean, if you really wanted, you can make one at home yourself. Pop that on and wash it off. It leaves your lips like really smooth. And while I'm doing my base, I always just put on a lip balm. My absolute favorite is the Burt's Bees range. All of their lip balms are just fab. This one is menthol, so it's like really nice and kind of cooling. I'm all about the cooling. I'm just quickly gonna do my base. So today I'm using the Wet n Wild. It's the foundation, Photo Focus foundation. I've used this before in the lighter shade and it's fine. I don't know how about it's lasting power for me, but um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna use. So first of all, I'm actually gonna prime. I'm just gonna pop on some MAC strobe cream. I got this as a little sample and I just find it really, really handy. Cause I don't use it a lot and I don't like when um, things go off. So this is a perfect little size. I'm gonna pop a bit of that on my hand and Pop it on to my face. So like I said, I've used this Wet n Wild before, but I haven't used it in the darker shade, and this is Desert Beige, and I'm kind of a bit concerned that it's gonna be the wrong color. So let's give it a go. Mm -hmm. Oh God. I don't know about you, but um, foundations oxidize either way on me. Like they either go light or they go dark. So let's see what happens with this. Holy moly. I'm gonna grab my dampened beauty blender and push this into the skin. Okay, I'm back and I have my base kind of finished. I'm just gonna let the color settle out and we can fix it if it's too dark later or whatever. Go to a bit of Sally Hansen or something. I did my eyebrows, primed my eyes. You've seen me prime my eyes. You know, I love my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Simple as done and dusted. So what we're gonna get on to next is a really quick eye look that's gonna go really nice with a red Christmassy lip that's gonna look fabulous. You've seen me do this before. I'm gonna grab a little bit of sellotape. I'm going into my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. You can use any matte palette that you have, any matte browns. It's just gonna be very kind of simple. Typical Amy look, matte. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of glitter in a second. So I'm gonna go into Unnatural, my fave. And that's just Unnatural all over the eye and into the crease. Really simple. Next one I'm gonna do is take a different brush. So I'm gonna go for my blank canvas E41 and I'm gonna use this gorgeous little shade. It's, it's a Tarte Exposed. Wait till I show you the colour of this. And it has a little mur and everything. It's the cutest thing. Tarte Exposed. It's just really lovely. It's not overly shimmery, but it's nice for putting on over some of your nudes. Next, I'm taking my e.l.f. and I'm so sorry, it's actually manky. <laughs> my e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner. This is gorgeous. It has a really big, long ooh, tip on it as well. And I'm going to, and this makes me a bit nervous because I'm really crap at wings and wings don't usually work on me, but I'm going to bring it out along the tape. Moment of truth. Let's pull off the cellar tape. Yeah, we're good. We're good, people. Now I'm just gonna go, go and tidy up the eyes a little bit. So I'm just gonna go back in with my blender because obviously the cellar tape has taken off a little bit of my concealer, but that's okay. We can go in with a little bit more if we want to. Going in with that there. 
So that's our eyelid done. I'm just going to go back into my natural matte palette and balance out the eyes like I always do. I'm going to go into a risky biz, uh, tap that with one of my small bullet brushes and just run that along the lash line like we've done in all the other videos. We've balanced out the eyes and I'm just going to pop on a couple of coats of my Benefit Roller Lash. I love this so much. It's so nice. So I'm going to pop that on. At this stage, you can definitely put on lashes if you want. But I really think that something like this, you could definitely wear something like this into work. And then if you're going for drinks afterwards, then, you know, this isn't going to look crazy just sitting in work or wherever you are. Whether or not you want to put on lashes while you put on your lip, that's entirely your own decision. Um, in this case, I'm not going to use lashes. Just for time, you know. So that's our eyes done. Let's get on to lips. So all I'm gonna do now at this stage is take a tissue and take like, I, I kinda tend to take like the rough end of the tissue and just wipe your lips with it and just take off any makeup that's kinda sat there on your lips. For my red lip today, I'm using two different kind of shades of red and there's a reason behind this. This is a little bit pinkier and this is a lot deeper, I find. Um, this is the Rimmel Exaggerate in Red Diva. This is the Chanel lipstick. So this is the colour. It's really, really gorgeous. Now, I know some people are funny about reds. This is good for me. Sometimes people are worried that red lipsticks will make your teeth go look, like look yellow so my advice would be to test lipsticks as much as you can before you get them or have an idea maybe buy a cheaper lipstick bring it home try it and if you know that that shade works bring that in if you're going to buy a more expensive lipstick so when i line my lips i tend to kind of pull my skin so i can see exactly where i don't know if it's age or what the story is but my lip line on the outside has faded so so much in the last couple of years so i do find sometimes when i line my lips and then i go back and i go oh no i still have some lip left I know that sounds really odd, but that's the way I do it. Now, this, you'll see this is quite pinky, but you'll see how it works afterwards. So I look like a clown. <laughs> At this stage, I just start to fill my lip in with the uh, lip liner. Now, you don't have to do this in any, like, special way. You just, you want something for the lipstick to kind of grab onto, and it'll help to uh, increase the lasting power of your lipstick. You know Christmas and you're going out for drinks and everything and there's red lipstick absolutely everywhere but you do not want it on your teeth, you do not want it on your, like, it'll get on your glass if you're having a drink or whatever but you don't want it anywhere, like, bleeding out of your lip line or anything like that. I'm then going to go in with my lipstick. This is a good bit darker but it just works. What I like to do at this point, so everything's on and looks fine, like it's grand, but what I like to do is get a little angled brush. This is an Inglot um, 31 T, so these are the ones you'd kind of normally use with your Inglot 77 liner to give you the flick if you are not like me and you can do it freehand, but I use this with my lipstick, pop a little bit onto it, and just use it to get into those kind of like places that the lipstick is too chunky to get into. So that is the Chanel lipstick. You'll see it's quite moisturizing. It's quite, it's not matte on the lips, which is quite comfortable, to be honest. It's really, really comfortable to wear. If you are planning on kissing someone under the mistletoe, or you just really don't want to have to worry about anything and you do not want your lipstick to budge, this doesn't budge, to be fair, but if you really want a mattifying red lipstick, your Meet Matte Hughes from the Balm is just fantastic. This is quite pinky. I don't actually have a really red one, but uh, this is a little sample of one of the other ones and this is these are just fantastic as well so I definitely recommend that if you want something a little bit more matte they're a little bit drying but uh, they're absolutely beautiful on the lips and they'll stay they will not budge and that is your red lip so let's just finish everything off with of course highlighter Mary Lou and I'm grabbing this on my Real Techniques powder brush I don't know which one it is it's your Christmas party night out by the way or whatever a Christmas drink so let's go crazy with the highlight 
So guys, this is the finished look. It's really simple. It can definitely take you to daytime in the office or wherever you work, to nighttime for your Christmas party, Christmas drinks, or whatever you need. Um, I've just popped on my Christmas jumper and put a bit of length to my hair <laughs> and I'm good to go. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you got some tips and tricks and that you have a great time at your Christmas party. We'll see you next time and thanks for watching.